Labach war veteran and former commander of the Special Reconnaissance Regiment of the Minister of Defense Tofik Jeferov is threatened with death for informing the public about the true circumstances of the elimination of Armenian terrorist Monte Melkonian in June 1993. Jeferov announced this at a press conference in the media center of the Institute for Reporters Freedom and Safety. Threats against Jeferov come from persons associated with Ibatusenov who claims that they personally beheaded Melkonian during a raid. Jeferov said that the military compound number 161, where Ibatusenov served, was seven kilometers behind the reconnaissance regiment, which operated under Jeferov's command. Therefore, no special action against the enemy could be made without our knowledge. If some operations were planned, then we would know it, said Jeferov. Jeferov said Melkonian was killed during the military operation for liberating the Marcel village of Agdam. This was confirmed by the deputy commander of the 708th Brigade, Medvar Mizeyev. According to Mizeyev, Melkonian was in a truck along with several men when their car was destroyed by the Azerbaijani armored vehicle. Melkonian jumped out and tried to hide behind a wall. However, a splinter from a shell fired from the armored vehicle dealt him a mortal wound on the head. The armored vehicle crew that fired Melkonian's car consisted of three people. Two of them, Shai Kalbiev and Asaf Mitalimov, died heroically. But the third man, Azatim Musayev, is alive and continues to serve in the army. At first, we did not know we had killed Melkonian. The corpses of Melkonian and others were in the neutral zone, and neither Armenians nor we could take them. Armenians took them in the morning. Then, on the basis of radio intercepts and official confirmation by the Armenian side of the murder of Melkonian in the area, it became known that the men of our brigade managed to eliminate him, said Mirzaev. As for Ibatusenov, he claimed that he personally killed Melkonian in his native village Mganli in the Kojavand region. However, the severed head that he demonstrated in a photo belongs to an Armenian militant killed in 1992, not to Melkonian who was killed in 1993. Jeferov said that he divulged this information to expose the mafia group that gathered around Tsenov and tried to make him a hero to use it for their own profits. According to Jeferov, they want to establish a fund for Ibat Hussainov and take advantage of it to start their own business. Jeferov says some people offered him to stop making statements on Hussainov, promising him a flat in Baku and material rewards. As proof, Jeferov presented a fragment of this audio conversation. But after Jeffer rejected these suggestions, he was threatened with death and the murder of his family. He received threatening calls from different mobile numbers. Military expert and human rights activist Akbar Mamadov condemned the attempts to falsify the facts about the Karabakh war for someone's glorification. Mamadov called on state authorities to stop such false heroism.